What you are seeing are surfaces of filaments and knots, elements of the cosmic V web along with sheets and voids. This construction is based on observations of the velocities of galaxies as they deviate from the universal expansion. 8000 distances and inferred deviant velocities are used to model the three-dimensional velocity and density fields. Wiener filtering and constrained realizations satisfy the data and the standard model of cosmology. The cosmic V-web is derived by calculating the shear in the velocity field. Shear indicating infall on three orthogonal axes identifies the location as part of the knot. Outflow on all three axes is the signature of a void position. In between are filaments, collapse on two axes, and sheets, collapse on one axis. Surfaces can be defined that enclose knots and filaments and, if desired, sheets and voids. The scale of the reconstruction exceeds 1 billion light years. Names are given to major components. Global deviant velocity flow lines revealed by the Wiener filter analysis are shown from selected seed positions. A flow line is constructed by stepping from an initial seed location in the direction of the deviant motion at that point then taking further steps following the path of motions at each new points. The flow lines are given colors according to local velocity. Velocities increase, red or rainbow colors, as a knot is approached and decrease, blue are colors, in passing through the potential minimum of the basin of attraction. It is seen that all the global flow lines terminate at the feature called shapely. The flows now being shown are local. Global flows can be broken down into local flows due to mass within a restricted region and tidal flows due to everything outside the specified region. A region from Perseus Spices through the funnel is highlighted. Local flows proceed along filaments to nearby knots. Flows along filaments need not be one way. There can be a divergent point along a filament with local flows heading in opposite directions towards separate knots. Global flows specific to the Perseus Pisces to Lepus region are shown again. Global flows from Perseus Pisces and the southern wall gather at the funnel and proceed through Lepus to Shapely. We return to the visualization of local flows. Individual galaxies from a redshift survey are superimposed. Now only galaxies associated with groups of at least 10 members are shown to simplify the presentation. Local flows are shown. The zoom inward gives focus to the heart of the Perseus Pisces region where there is a string of significant clusters culminating in the Perseus cluster. The Perseus coma filament is highlighted. This structure is poorly seen in the distribution of galaxies because it lies behind the obscured plane of the Milky Way but it is well defined by the Wiener filtering of galaxy motions. There is a divergence of flows along the filament, breaking toward either Perseus Pisces or Coma. The Hercules Shapely filament is highlighted. Local flows shear toward Hercules or Shapely but the global flow pattern seeded in Hercules proceeds in one direction to Shapely.
The highlight is now on the great attractor and the major pivoindus filament feeding into it from Indus. The arch is highlighted. This filament at the roof of the local void links between two great structures with a divergence between local flows toward Perseus Pisces and through Indus to the Great Attractor. The zoom inward gives attention to the Antlius Strand, another filament running between the Great Attractor and Perseus Pisces. This filament is difficult to follow in the distribution of galaxies because it passes behind the zone of obscuration but it is well defined in the V-Web. In the background is the Virgo strand, the direct link between our galaxy and the Great Attractor. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, lies at the origin of the red, green, blue arrows. A rotation and further zoom gives a clearer view of our linkage to the great attractor in the region of the Centaurus and Norma clusters. The clusters appear slightly displaced from the V-Web because of offsets between measured distances and distances inferred from redshifts. Laniakia, the full basin of attraction of the Great Attractor, is shown as a silhouette within the V-Web. We have been looking at the exterior surfaces of the V-Web filaments. Let us go inside. Perseus Pisces, a node of the cosmic V-Web where several filaments converge. The insert helps with orientation. The flashing yellow ball identifies the current viewing location. Only galaxies in important groups are shown as individual little spheres. We enter the filament connecting Perseus Pisces to Coma in the Great Wall. Coma, a node of the V-Web filament system. The Great Attractor at the heart of Laniakia. Inside the Virgo filament, the Virgo cluster and the local group. White spheres provide a more complete rendition of galaxies near home. From the heart of Laniakia into the Pavoindus filament. The Perseus Pisces filament. Large copper balls represent entire rich clusters of galaxies. Onward to Lepus. Onward to the Shapely concentration. Shapely, the densest nearby concentration of galaxy clusters.
shapely is the dominant sink of velocity flows.